only on News 5. A man in Baymanette says a car full of teenagers and two adults took aim at his family, firing BB guns toward his home, one of those BBs striking him in the leg. Police say this was an unprovoked attack, and it's not the first one to happen there this week. As WKRG News 5's Blake Brown shows us, dash cam video captured the moments when officers caught up with the suspects. Yeah, two shootings in two days here in Baymanette, both involving BB guns. Latavis Jones was outside his home on Lower Street Monday afternoon when he says he and his two young nieces were targeted at random. I felt pain in my leg and stuff. He was hit in the leg by a BB but was able to give police a good description of the car and those inside. Minutes later, Baymanette police officer Christopher Baldner spotted the car and attempted to make a traffic stop, but that's when he says three teens and an adult took off on foot. Those moments captured on dash cam video. When they started running, I immediately saw uh, two people carrying long weapons, um, which put me on pause because that was not what I expected. Um, I expected maybe a BB pistol. Officer Baldner caught up with the three teens. They're now at the Baldwin County Juvenile Detention Center. He says these are the BB guns used in Monday's shooting. The adult and the driver of the car have been identified. Police now ready to make arrest. People have a right to uh, feel comfortable being on their property. Uh, in their front yards, living their life. Investigators believe the same group is responsible for another shooting that happened Sunday where a BB gun was also used. That time, a camper was hit. It terrified these people. Police are glad these guns are off the street and those responsible are held accountable. Officer Baldner says crimes like this won't be tolerated. People shouldn't have to feel when a random car drives by that they have to shelter down and, and hope that it's not going to be a drive-by shooting. Police expect to release the names and charges of those two adults later this week. In Baymanette, I'm Blake Brown, WKRG News 5.